I hate my car. <laughs> my car scares me. I get nervous when the engine light goes back out. I don't know if the engine fixed itself. <laughs> Maybe the light just gave up. Because <laughs> you know it just sitting there staring at me yelling, hey, it's been nine. You know what? I'm out. <laughs> My tires are hooked on Fix-A-Flat. They do them like whippets, too. <laughs> Feels like we're going through a tunnel. <laughs> Only thing I hate worse than my car is traffic. I wish I was in charge of traffic control. First thing I would do is get rid of those ridiculous cameras. <laughs> and then I would put snipers at major intersections. <laughs> Run the red, get a cap in the head. First person in the car gets to keep it. There will be a swift decline in traffic violations. And no more high speed chases. Give the cops a high powered glue gun. They can shoot the ticket onto the window. Nobody gets hurt. <laughs> 100 bucks, slow down. 50 bucks, use your blinkers. <laughs> nice boobies, move along. <laughs> and what is it about getting in a car that makes me want to pick my nose? like a sense memory. Key's not even in the ignition. Like a magnetic force. Like a stick trying to find water under the crust of the earth. And the crust is in your nose. And it's not the picking. Everybody has to pick their nose. That's natural. What's not natural is pulling up to a stop sign and going knuckle deep for 20 minutes. You don't got to do that part. Get up a little earlier. Maybe 20 minutes. Make yourself some breakfast, brush your teeth, comb your hair, look in the mirror. I'm gonna save that for the ride. That interstate is a beast. Then you got drive-by flickings, because those aren't always bugs in the windshield. Thank <laughs> you.